What's going on? How we doing, party people? <clears throat> All right. Let's get this up and running. Here we go. Okay, sure. Gotta do the share. Because if you don't do the share, no one knows your hair. No one knows your hair. That was dumb. Um, one, okay, epic adventures of a chain mail wine bottle holster continued, continues. Adventures. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Barb, how you doing? Wow, that completely went away. Epic. With a, sorry, I just. Continues. Come say hi. All right, there we go. That starts with a C. Come on, letters, do what I say. All right. Write post. Seriously? This is ridiculous. You're not bad? That's good to hear. Epic. Come on, do the thing, fingers. All right, Let's see how that goes. I think it worked that time. There we go. See the share pop up on the stream. Copy link. Where are we going? Oh, we'll post it up over in MeWe. All right. Um, epic. Okay. So what's up, everybody? How you doing? What's going on? Two people, what? It's crazy. Let me finish getting this set up here and we'll, we'll do the thing. Come on. Of course, of course I have sound. I don't want sound. Be quiet, you. All right, we'll set that over here. We'll start some music. Okay. All right, can y'all hear me over the music? One new like. Tony Fantasia has liked the stream. Thanks for the like, Tony. How you doing, brother? How's it going? I saw your elephant, your leather elephant, if you're watching. And uh, that was awesome, dude. That piece is coming along nicely. That's where we at here. Those back in there. Okay. Let's. There's a ladybug. <laughs> There's a ladybug on camera. I didn't even notice. It's sitting right in front of me. That's funny. So how's everyone doing tonight? Just to give a recap of what we got through last night, right? Three of the four bands that we need are on, and then 
judging by how this fits right now, we may take out two rows in this section right here. But for right now, we're gonna focus on putting a band on this end. So what rings do I need? Oh, and this is all we have left of the 16 gauge quarter inch ring. So I have some stainless ones, which kind of sucks because the black and stainless look really cool. But uh, that is what it is. We just ran out. It's nice to have used them up. Come on, let go, there you go. So we'll take this pile of rings and make a band out of it and hopefully it won't cause any further issues. If you've been staying abreast of the situation, we had multiple, multiple band revisions of rings that are all the same size that did not, did not work. So hopefully, hopefully we won't run into that issue tonight. I was just watching a stream. The chain nerd, Gus and I think his friend Aaron, hanging out, making some bezels of some kind. They were having fun. All right. I'm gonna have to tumble this uh, whole piece before I add any leather to it. So I can tell right away that some of these rings have some barbs and a lot of them are dirty. So we'll tumble the whole thing. All right. So we'll just make one big one in one chain here for starters. And shouldn't take too long. It's what? 8.54. We might have a good chunk of it done by 9.30. Come here, you. Fun thing about 18, or the fun thing about rings this size is that they're big and they go quick. So I had a, a fun-filled day that uh, ended in what I consider to be a uh, a disaster. Um, not because anything bad in particular happened. It just snowed outside right now, or it is snowing outside right now, and. Now, I need to consider myself lucky because of the fact that the it has not snowed sig significantly here all winter this year. So, you know, very lucky to have avoided everything up until now. The unfortunate thing is that once it snows, that snow has a tendency to stay the rest of the year here in Wisconsin. It's... Like I grew, I grew up in Boise, Idaho, where the snow would go away after a day or two, right? Boise's in a valley, stays pretty warm, you know, for the most part. But uh, for many years before this, I lived down in Texas. In the last couple of years, I've lived here in Wisconsin. There was no snow in Texas. I think I think we saw snow once, and it was you know a flurry, right? So I've seen snow. I've you know grew up in it. I just did not uh, ever expect to have to live with a ton of snow all winter. I'd much prefer it for it to go away. But first snowfall, I got gas for the little snow blower there. And hopefully we won't have any issues. We have shovels just in case. 
but uh, yeah hopefully winter goes quickly and I won't have to deal with it for too much because with my current job I drive everywhere so I really don't want to drive in the snow tomorrow hopefully they'll get the plows out and get everything cleaned up before I before I wake up tomorrow there's something about our street though right like we're incorporated into the city the snow plows should be coming through right but they only ever come through like three days later so I think last year Renee got stuck at the end of the street just trying to get out because the plows hadn't come through all right <clears throat> Had a good day at work got my stuff done got my kid picked up from uh, his little day camp that he goes to fairly early so that's nice all in all it was a good day until I saw that it was snowing <laughs> that ruined my mood but you know it is what it is Got one, two, three, five more components to this wine bottle wrap that we got to get through. And then that'll be done. I'm, I got a gift card for, uh, Oh, for Christmas, and I went to uh, the ringlord.com, their website where all of my, all of the rings I've ever ordered are from. I haven't had the opportunity to order from anyone else. And they would not accept my gift card. Something, uh, so I went to the website to try and register it for online purchases. And I haven't figured out what I've done wrong yet. I don't know, maybe I just need to wait. Maybe it'll work after the stream. But I'm trying to get the clear engineered plastic rings for the whale mail inlay I did so I can finish that up. I'd like to get that up on the wall and out of the way. That would be nice. So if I can get uh, that gift card to work, pay like five bucks in shipping or something, we'll be able to knock that out and get that done. All right. Um, I don't know how long we need to make this, but Probably longer than that. Come on. Come here, you. So I posted a video of, uh, I guess, I don't know if the first video was a, originally a TikTok, but then it was two, it was made into two videos side by side of some guy singing some insanely low bass. And uh, my son really got a kick out of it. So we listened. We must have listened to that to like a hundred. We must have listened to it like a hundred times to between yesterday and today. And 
And then we listen to the full song, which I think is a band called The Longest Johns. And I tried to listen to some more of their stuff, but I wasn't, uh, I didn't have time, right? Like, I have the link up to listen to it, but I'll have to, it's one of those things, you know, you'll just have to go back and do. So I've got that. That was fun. He was singing the chorus by the time we were done, which was adorable. He usually likes to sing on, to, sing along to like Raffi songs and stuff, but he really liked that Wellerman song. It's kind of hard. For some reason, it's kind of hard to get him to sing. I don't know if he's just not used to it or what, but we'll get there. Comes from a very long line of musical people. So we'll get there. Mm. We could probably start weaving this together and see how it goes. All right. start sizing it up. I really need to remember to take a uh, post stream picture of what we've accomplished because I, I keep meaning to do it and every time I forget so what are you going to tackle as your first sculpture Barb? Sculpture. Something I've never really delved into. I'm waiting with bated breath, Barb. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. You can add other elements, or does it have to be just chainmail? You were thinking of adding other components to help keep its shape. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You want to make a castle? Nice. You know, I mean, you can add, like, I've certainly used other media with chainmail, right? Hell, we did uh, the chainmail themed. Um, pumpkin carving contest. where we carve pumpkins to look like chainmail. So, I mean, you know, if we can do that, any type of 
mixed media to make chainmail. You can certainly make a sculpture using chainmail and other media, right? Like, I don't think that would be an issue. I want to eyeball something here. Trying to see if these line up. Maybe it, it, it might help if I go this way. Or try down on this end. Ah, that wasn't what I meant to do. Okay. I just wanted to check to make sure that they were at least, you know, somewhat looking close. You were thinking too much? Like, what do you mean? Like someone would be upset with you if you used something other than chain mail to make a castle? A lot of people do that. They gatekeep. Like, you know, you'll make something, they'll be like, no, you can't do it that way. It's like, why not? Use toilet paper rolls on each corner, covered dice on them. Cardboard box is the base. I mean, by all means, use what materials you have on hand. Oh, your brain won't shut off with the ideas? That's better than what I was thinking. Like, how permanent is this structure going to be? You know? And how much chain mail are you going to add to it? That's really, I mean, that's really what's going to be determining your materials, right, is how sturdy you want to make it. What are you going to be using it for? Is it simply a decorate, decorative piece? Are children going to be playing with it? That's an important one. Children will destroy anything they get their hands on. Permanent lots and want one of your dragons guarding it? That would be awesome. That would be really cool to see. I have a chainmail dragon and a chainmail castle. Heck yeah. I like that idea. It's it's a bit what to call it. Okay, like if I were to start a, a first project, it would be like, okay, make a chainmail snowman, right? Like I've seen people make round balls of chain mail. I'm sure I can find a way to stack three of them up on each other. Right, and it seems fairly small and fairly, right, like, conquerable. So I, my, I would hesitate to do something as large as a castle, but I don't know how big you're gonna make it, and I don't know what your plans are, so don't, by all means, don't let me discourage you from it. But, and also you've been doing chain mail for a while, so it's not like, it's not like you've got to learn how to overcome, you know, the, the mind suck that is what happens when, you know, people get bored of working on a project. So, 
you know, hopefully that'll help you. Might ease into such a large project. It still needs to fit fester in your brain. Yeah. Absolutely. Let it stew a while. Mid chain mailing for 15 years. That's cool. Yeah, so, it, I mean, it's not like, like, I see a lot of people, and they're like, oh, I want to make a chain mail shirt. I'm like, okay, well, you know. Start with something smaller. <laughs> but, you know, if you... Like I said, you've been doing it for a while, so you're familiar with the uh, concept of just keep weaving rings until the project is done. You know? So. I think that's a cool idea. I really do. Hi, Bobby. How are you? How are you doing this fine evening? You can only, if you place an order, you can only do it on, on the website. I, I looked at setting up a shop on Facebook, and because all the items in my store take anywhere from three to seven days for them to be printed and sewn together, um, I do not qualify to have a store on Facebook because they require that your stuff is sent out within three days. So it wasn't worried. I make this look easy. I've been doing it for a long time. This is just many years of practice is all. I still struggle, like there's a ton of stuff, ton of weaves that I've never even tried, you know. Like sweet pea. I've never done sweet pea. I wouldn't know the first place to start. You're looking at getting a hooded blanket? Okay. Thank you so much for looking. I think everyone should have a hooded blanket. They're awesome. Now, only the Christmas ones and the Valnut one have those uh what do you call it like little pockets to put your hands in on either side of the blanket right and they have like a wrist strap as well all the rest of them they just have a little little elastic strap to kind of hold up all they'll all the designs will be switched over two is uh to the uh the blankets with the pockets on the ends but I just I haven't had time to do it yet so just so you know Shaggy is where you start with Sweet Pea really your birthday's coming up Barb nice happy birthday to you Okay, the Christmas themed ones have the little pocket and the Valnut blanket has the little pocket. All the rest of the hooded blankets just have the strap.
just it's and it's just a little elastic strap and we're moving to the ones with uh, the pockets but not when we're, we're not there with all of them yet you know what I mean we'll get there we will get there As with all the projects that currently go on, you know. Yeah, let me know. I'll tell you, you know, right offhand which which one it is, or if it has, you know, the little pockets on the ends or not. Barb's got a birthday coming up. I'm moving all my blankets over to uh, a different hooded blanket style. They're a bit more expensive, but I like that. Uh, the little pockets on the end and the wrist strap for the hooded blankets so I think other people will like it too come on so we're gonna move over to we're gonna move all the hooded blankets over to that style of blanket then we got we got to work on tumblers and coffee cups and there's a bunch of stuff coming this year as far as different chainmail themed products and hopefully a bunch of new designs if I can ever get down here again to work on projects so the chainmail dragon scale hooded blanket okay that one just comes with the elastic straps on the end that one has not um, been switched over to the the new hooded blanket style. I probably have some what 15 odd blanket designs. Yeah, it doesn't have the pockets. It just has an elastic um, band on either end for your wrists. Which, I mean, it's nice enough. Don't get me wrong. Um, you're going to have to wait until I switch all of the designs over to the new blanket style. Does that make sense? The only ones that have been switched over so far are the Christmas ones. And the Valnet blanket. All the rest of the designs are still the ones with uh, the elastic on the end. But I can I can cue that up and try and get that done for just that one design here. I could probably do it tonight if I was if I remember at at the end of the show. And it'll be, the design will be ready in a day or so. Tell you what, tell you what. Prices won't be going up for a couple days, right? So I'll, I'll try to get it done before the first, which is when prices are supposed to be going back up. I don't know if I'll have time to do it that day, but it takes me several hours to get through all the pricing on 197 items. So, um, I will honor the sale price until I get that switched over for you, if that's going to be the ultimate deciding factor. I think that's more than fair. Mm. 
So I can get that set up for you, and then when it's ready, I'll just let you know. And I just won't change prices on that one until you've had an opportunity to buy it. All right. We're kind of getting somewhere on here. We're about, oh, two-thirds of the way around, I think. No, don't order it until I let you know that it's available. Yeah, order it. I'll send you um, a link when it's all ready to go. And then order it. I've had people order stuff and they go, they'll order something. And they say, I want it in, you know, purple and green. I'm like, I don't even have those colors available. I, of course, try to accommodate them. But, uh, no, what I do here? That's not the end I want to work on. Come on. If that works for you, it works for me. I'll try and remember to like do it when I get done here. And then hopefully I'll have a link for you in the next, hopefully by the end of the week. I try not to give myself too many deadlines because stuff does come up. Ron Weasley, how are you? Thanks for joining us over on Twitch. What is Barb doing? Barb's, Barb's been hanging out with me. Dep you're depressed and considering doing... Doing what? Making some chain mail? Because you should. Because chain mail is awesome. I can appreciate that. All right. So we've got just a couple more inches on this band to make and then Holy comments, Batman. Bob, you're trying to figure out how to do HP 4 and 1 graduated? That's awesome. How do you start a project like this? Well, <coughs> there's a number of different ways. Um, I wrote an article on it, like how to get started making chain mail that you can find in the blog section of mailworks.com, but it's on like page three or something. So basically there are people who make individual rings. These right here. And they make a lot of them, jump rings. And um, the ring manufacturers are places like theringlord.com, we've got mail, um, 
There is, oh, I'm trying to think of the other one. My recommendation on how to get started would be to go find some pliers that are kind of suitable for your hands that don't have too many teeth on them and go go to a website like We've Got Mail. It's um, weave like as in how to weave a rug and mail is in like chain mail, M-A-I-L-L-E. And they have kits that you can get started with that come with tutorials that tell you, that give you instructions on how to do stuff. Um, there's a ton of free tutorials on places like Pinterest. Just type in chainmail tutorial and you'll come up with a bunch. Had to learn three and one for the dragon, so you gotta learn four and one, yeah, yeah. Do I make my rings? No, ab absolutely not. Metaldesigns.com is another one, if you're in Canada. They ship to the US though, don't they? Um, and then figure out uh, what's the best way to hold your pliers and the best way to close a ring for your body type and your strength. I recommend starting out with aluminum. Um, and moving your way up to other harder met, um, metals if you have an interest. So that is one way to get started. You can of course buy some wire and get a mandrel and wind your own rings and cut them all. and. That's how I started a long, long time ago. How much, um, whatever the standard puzzle is right now, I don't know what the price is off the top of my head. If you want a puzzle, a custom one. Well, let me, let me put it like this. A custom one where you provide the design Right would only cost you as much as the size of puzzle that you want right now. Understand that there are um, the prices listed on the website are sale prices right now. Um, so you'd have to go look at the puzzle section, and figure out do you want the what is it 125 or the 250 piece puzzle, or do you want the 500 or 1,000 piece puzzle? You want a Michigan flag? Like just the flag or do you want Do you want a chainmail design of the Michigan flag? Cuz here's Is the Michigan flag copyrighted? Is it owned by, you know, someone who has intellectual property rights over it? the next question yeah I, I don't know either I would have to look that up right because if it's just the Michigan flag whether it's a, a chainmail design or not right if someone has intellectual property rights over it um, right getting getting it printed is is not something that I'm gonna be able to do there are other ways other services to go about getting that done right a lot of places do custom one-off stuff it's expensive, but a chainmail flag at Canada would be freaking awesome. See, so, you now Canada is a different story because it's a different country. I'm I'm ninety five percent certain that I could do a design, a print design for it. Do, do either of you know how to do Pergan Dragon Spine? Nope. I've never heard of it.
don't know. All right, we're gonna start putting this on the bottom of the of the wine bottle holster here and see if it gives us any problems matching up with the rest of the bands. And hopefully it won't. So that will, we might not have to cut anything out of the middle, I don't know, maybe, we'll figure it out, must be one more step in the long arduous process of getting this to work. I'm sure there's some kind of public use law that allows images of uh, the Michigan flag to to be used, right? Because it's a state flag. But also, I know that not all of them are that way. So, like, Uh, let's see here, which which way is this going? This should go this way. I think that's gonna work. Whoa. You sent me a picture? Thank you, Bobby. Do I just make all the weaves I want and then connect them and build the straps um you can't connect any and every weave but you can connect some of them which is all I'm doing here I'm telling us in the right spot. Oh, come on, let go. Okay, should go in here like that. Down through these two. That's better. What uh, the big stripe weave is interwoven four in one using sixteen gauge five sixteenths rings. And they're connected to a couple of different, a uh, couple of uh, patches of European foreign one using uh, these 18 gauge quarter inch rings. This is a trick I started doing um, several years ago. Somebody asked me to make some sleeves for their jacket. Um, they had like a highwayman's coat. So I made the sleeves for it. Um, did some like argyle pattern. Alternating uh, between patches of European 4-in-1 divided by strips of interwoven 4-in-1 kind of thing. It's in it's in my photos somewhere. Some really bad pictures of it, of course. Come on.
I actually did a chainmail Michigan flag once. I think that's in the pictures of my uh, Facebook page too, my personal one. And that was given to a friend of mine from, was it the Michigan State? I think it was the University of Michigan flag. U of M. Never mind. I thought I knew what the... The state flag looked like, but I was thinking of a college flag. You were thinking that the hoodie blanket is better than the jacket because of your son? How do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean by that. But hooded blankets are awesome. They're super warm, right? Like if you get the the premium fleece one, the macro fleece one, they're ridiculously warm. The Sherpa. Yes. Your son wears a bigger size than you do. You could definitely both use it. Um, I'll warn you though. People have a tendency to steal these blankets and then not share them. Just, just know that now. I saw one person who had one of uh, her blankets or cloaks stolen by her cats. Another person's was stolen by their grandma. I have no idea who I'm listening to. I can tell you. Um, no, I can't. I lied. Hang on. Now playing Just Let It Go by The Last Place You Look. Whoever that is. If he likes it that much, you'll have him take a look and see if there's something he likes better. I absolutely like that idea. Gonna be honest. I enjoy, I have three blankets. I love them. Three blankets and three hoodies. I wish I had more. I want I want one of all of my designs one day. That would be awesome. So hopefully Mailworks will do will be really successful next year and I will be able to purchase myself some more stuff. Um As well as uh, make designs for new products, right? One of the projects I want to get started on here fairly soon is getting uh, the designs up on places like uh, Spoonflower, right? Because I know that there's a ton of requests for people to get chainmail print fabric, right? I know a lot of people like to sew and make chainmail. Right, and I think that investing some time in getting stuff up on uh, on Spoonflower Forum, I think they'll like that. What other designs do I have on the chopping block? Oh, you mean like because uh, I'm moving from one type of blanket to another um nothing pressing at the moment right like 
that's the only major one that I can think of. Everything else should stay in the store as is for a while. I generally only change out design, uh, not designs. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I generally only stop selling a design or a product rather um, if we start having problems with it right like when I first started I had a bunch of cell phone wallets right that a bunch of people bought and they promptly uh, broke all fairly quickly oh the so it, my point was we got rid of the we got rid of the wallet cases. You talking about this print right here? This is like Celtic Vision sheet or something, if I remember correctly. And this is part of a big tapestry. Let's see here. That covers my back wall. So, just, it's like 60 by 80. It's ridiculous. <coughs> I did pull this design. Um, because the colors are wrong. I did make a new design in different colors. That is available. But uh, I am horrible with colors. Chainmail Joe, and there's Nuke It on the Block, Randy's Rings. Oh, did we? I think I hit something. There we go. Yeah, I tried to get a lot of wall art up there. <laughs> trying. Like, all the basic designs are up in tapestry form on the store. So. There were... There was some pride stuff up uh, for a while. And then... All of that got uh, taken down because I sold I sold one Pride wallet um, in like 18 months that I had them up on the store, and so having having all that stuff up was hey David having all that stuff up in the store that wasn't selling was not working so I may do some more pride stuff one day but it's difficult to rationalize spending a lot of time designing stuff for a niche of a niche right that has done poorly in the past Um, you know, some people do really well selling chainmail pride themed stuff right but to get the chainmail pride themed print out items sold uh, it did not go well. So, any other merchandise ideas? Yeah, yeah, they're they're coming. There's definitely going to be uh, some new stuff coming. Come on. Can't uh, can't ruin too many surprises. Where are we at here? Oh, we are at an hour. 
All right. So that means it's what? 948? Do I show all of the fabric designs that I currently have somewhere? I don't have any fabric designs. If you're asking for like spoon flower stuff, I don't have anything ready for that. I'm just, that's one of the many areas that uh, we're gonna try and branch out into this year is getting a lot more chain mail designs into, you know, fabrics for spoon flower to print for people. Right. So I have like 90% of what I need to know in order to do that. Um, now all I need is the time to sit down and do it. The current products, okay. So nothing is printed until it's ordered, right? And then it's assembled by hand and sent out. Once the... Ew. Um, once the pieces of a product are, are printed, they are then assembled and shipped off to the customer. Right, so I don't have anything other than what I've had made for myself laying around. So like this tapestry, this hoodie, a couple of blankets, and I'm trying to fill my whole house with this stuff. Some people aren't gonna be thrilled about that that live here, but you know, they're just gonna have to learn to live with it. So, Enough of these uh, black and stainless 18 gauge quarter inch rings here to go around this bottom one, which will tie it off nicely. And so far, the band doesn't seem to be tightening up too much, so I think it's going to work. Thank you. It's a happy turn of events that unfortunately they'll all be hidden. So that's okay. Well, almost all of them. I thought we didn't have nearly as far to finish that up. I do have like I do have a blanket over here if you want to see that and to get an idea of what that looks like. If you're interested, I can go grab it real quick. Thanks, Kevin. It's coming along. We're almost done with the 
finishing up the bottom row here it's a little too long so we'll have to cut some out of the middle but yeah and then we'll we'll add our bridge right we'll bridge this over for the leather straps then we're gonna tumble it yeah those are all the the designs of the products I currently have the pictures popping up oh and then we will put a top and bottom on this and call it a day all right oh I gotta stretch All right, so we're at a little over an hour. I've got, oh, I thought I was closer than that, but huh. trying to hold this up doesn't work. Um, that much left to do on the wine bottle there, the bottom, for that piece. We're taking a take some of that out. Um, I think we'll just take two rows out to make this. It's a little long the way it's fitting right now. All right, it's a little too far over this edge up here. But we're gonna have to work on that later because right now I'm gonna go and. Uh, Thanks, David. Ah, where'd I throw that? There it is. Ring tried to get away. All right. Am I going to serve wine from this? No, this is... It is a holster. Right. Where am I at here? Okay. So it's gonna have a leather strap here and here to hang kind of like that off of my buddy's uh, belt who this is for, right? And then we're gonna do a little draw bag closure on top so he can change wine bottles in and out of it as he pleases or meat bottles or liquor bottles or whatever. I don't, whatever he drinks, right? He was just asking me to make something for him so that he can have it hang around uh, his be uh, belt at the Renaissance Festival. All right, Barb, you have a good night. Uh, Bobby, I am uh, on my way out right now. You wanna buy one of my shirts for paying me in dollars by bank or expensive? I accept PayPal and credit cards. And I mean, they have tolerable fees. I don't have any other way to process payments at the moment. But I do want to say thank you for taking a look. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for joining me in the last hour. You know, like, it's really cool that people came and hang out. Come and hang out. Right, while I do this little chainmail thing that I enjoy <laughs> and ramble on mindlessly. So, thank you, everyone. If you want to support the stream, go to mailworks.com, pick yourself out something nice, and I will see you guys. Um, we'll probably be back on tomorrow night if nothing comes up.